Hi everyone, this is Idaho Amy and I want to show you a couple projects I've been making using Graphic 45's Le Romantique collection. And um, first of all I made this card and I used some ladies diary to make the flower and a button that somebody had um, sent me and I thought that looked really cute on there. Um, those paper lines go really well together because um, they have the same color palette. So I really like those together. Um, but the rest of the papers are scraps left over from my album that I'll show you in a minute. And then the inside of the card looks like this. And I just added some of the different pieces from the collection and a place to write and a couple of brads down there. And uh, here's the back of the card. And it's a really pretty image. And the next part I made was a tag, and I made it using the tag from the book plate, um, and I added a zipper down here at the bottom, um, just tied it off, and then these are some vintage pieces. I'm not exactly sure where I got this from. I think I got this from Tracy um, in a bag of different things that she sent me. Um, and then this is a Prima flower with a button, and the button I believe is from Jan. And uh, here's some of my little Prima, or not Prima, sorry, those are my flowers. <laughs> um, sorry, they're from the tutorial that I did um, last week about how I make my roses. And I had those left over, and I thought they went really well with this. And um, I just stuck an image on there and a button and then here's the back. I left the back plain so that if you wanted to write something or add a photo or whatever you want to put on the back it's there for you to do. So there's that. I'll just stick that back there. And then the album I made and it's using a chipboard album that's by Little Yellow Bicycle and um, I just toss the rings, well, put the rings away because I'm not going to use them on this project and I'll save them for something else and um, I added some um, pieces here this is um, I got this from Tracy as well as this piece up here and I just added um, one of the roses to the front and then also to the back and then this is a key that I got in a swap with Audra and um, I thought that looked really good on here and I just bound it with my bind it all. Um, I stuck the paper to the chipboard using glossy accents by Ranger. And then I also um, attached the book plate. And this is also a staple from Graphic 45. And I've been wanting to use one of these for a long time and just um, haven't done it. Um, I thought about putting another a picture on here or something, but I really didn't want to cover the book plate. I know that uh, a lot of, of other de of graphic design or graphic 45 designers they cover it up and they put pictures and stuff all over it but it was just too pretty I couldn't bear to cover it and so I'm leaving it simple like this and if whoever gets it wants to cover it up with a picture or something on the front I'm gonna go ahead and let them do that um, I just couldn't bear to cover up the book plate because it was too pretty and um, so then the next page looks like this and it has some bling and some prima flowers um, with a button here and some lace back here and then on this page it had so much pretty decoration on it I didn't do anything but glossy accent the butterfly and then left it plain so there's room for a photo or whatever you want to stick on that and then on this page over here there's room for a photo and then this right here opens up and there's places for photos or journaling on the inside of there and then on this side let me tilt you down just a little bit um, there's a flip and you can put photos or journaling there and then here's some more of those pretty embellishments and some bling and on this page um, there's this is popped up and then there's a place for um, tag right here 
that slides in. And I didn't cover this up very much because I didn't want to cover up the pictures that I liked. So Then on this page, there's lots of room for a photo. And you can actually tuck it under here. And um, this is a flower from a swap that I got. Um, and I don't remember who made it, I'm sorry. But um, So there's that really pretty grungy flower. And then this page right here is pretty simple, lots of room for a photo and some embellishments. And this actually, from the other side, slides. You can slide it all the way down or leave it right where it is if it's in the wrong spot and you don't like it where it is. Um, there's also this page right here, and it's got some tags in it and big place for a photo. And then on this page right here, um, I put a photo in here, but you can um, cover it up and put your own photo there that you like. And um, this back one, I left it pretty much plain, room for photos or whatever you want, but it was, again, just too pretty to cover up. And another one of my flowers that I make. So anyway, and here's the back. So hope you guys like that. Um, my chipboard album, um, my tag and my card that I've made. And I'm going to be listing this on eBay again. Um, just another one of my projects that I've been working on for eBay. So thanks a lot for watching. Bye.